All right there, ladies and gentlemen. John Sweet Pea here, bringing you yet another double dose of doom in a single day. And I'm going to bring to you part eight of the monochrome mapping project. I am sort of trying to keep up with the Doom World Mega Wad Club thread, but though I'm probably going to always be a map behind the descriptions that people are rolling out, but nevertheless, I'm at least trying to keep up with everyone else. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that in mind, let's roll out map number eight. And thankfully there is music this time. This is Tezel Dose by the second of third con three contributions from Fractal XX. If you remember, he previously did Abusive. And this music is called Organic by Alexander Brandon, which I've not heard before. So, there appear to be zero monsters in this map. However, we all know what happened on the last time we had a fractal map. Monsters spawn in from nowhere. Do not expect this to be empty for very long. Wow. This is a very interesting area. Looks like we got a... Yep, we're in some kind of a giant star by the looks of it. Hmm. I'm not sure what all... Oh, that must be the switch that starts everything off. Let me just try... Trigger you know, anything with that punch. I'm a little skeptical about this switch, though, but it must be what starts the action, I guess. They're coming. Oh, oh god. Okay. We have pistol zombies. Hmm, that was kind of interesting. As you can see, the monster count has jumped up to five. So it looks like we're going to get the. Die. Why? Uh oh, lost souls. Ugh. No, what is this madness? Yes, fight each other. Good. It's kind of an interesting. We're on a giant lift or something. Hmm. As you can see the lost souls are desperately trying to no escape. Oh God! Can we get a little bit more ammo suddenly? This is kind of interesting. We're getting teleported in occasional bursts of health. And, uh... Weaponry and monsters keep coming in while we get these weird messages. It's kind of like a Streets of Rage level or something. You know, with escalating monster difficulty. Oh, we also have 120% health. Hmm. So giving us a ton of health potions. It's definitely an interesting style here. That it's being played. Kill Doom Guy. Oh shit, we got revenants. Whoa, can we actually go on the green bits? Oh, we can. Oh, that's not too bad then. Revenant versus Manky Bye. Oh god, I nearly ran into that fireball. Not the smartest idea in the world. Go behind this pillar. Kill that guy off. It also seems to keep teleporting us to the middle. Each time come closer. Ah, no, I do not want to come closer. Thank you. <coughs> Ooh, boy. At least he's also giving us a health regeneration, which is kind of nice. Like a sort of survival lean to the map, which is a bit different, I suppose. I've not seen this kind of trickery done in a single player Doom before. So we've seen it in my. There are definitely molds that have been out for a while that are similar to this, like the old. Uh, oh, ow, that was not a smart idea. Skull Tag Invasion, not. Which is basically just survive a bunch of uh, waves on wave of them. So I'm going to be using it here too. It's kind of interesting. It looks like he's teleporting the player in right to the spot where. Um, oh no, a Cyber Demon. I request permission to save at this point. I've been for a gauntlet. Uh oh. Now the rest of the maps, and we come out this giant. Darkness. Oh no, he's giving oh, he's giving us a rocket launcher. So it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a fight with the uh, Cyber Demon. Rockets to rockets, just like the end of E episode two. Rocket splash damage does not hurt a Cyber Demon if you're pondering. Kind of weird, but there you go. That's also the reason why Cyber Demons don't also don't infight each other. It makes them rather annoying to deal with in sort of slaughter maps. As opposed to Spider Masterminds, which will invite quite a bit. 
No way! Run to the light, don't look back. Alright, what did I do? Look back. Oh god, rockets! Ooh, boy. Oh dear. <laughs> Guess we should have heeded the advice of the map. <laughs> okay. Alright, um. Let's do this again, I guess. Should be too long. Alright, so when it says run to the right, we should heed its advice and actually run. I thought it'd be like a. I was actually expecting some kind of a jump scare there for some weird reason. Oh well, I guess we need to avoid death. So as soon as we kill off this cyber demon. It's actually not really that difficult, to be honest. None of this has really been all that difficult. Except maybe the revenants, but there's so much space to work with. It's not really much of a challenge, I have to admit. But it's a really kind of a cool idea. Alright, we run. Run, 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 run. Like it says, don't look back. Yeah, looking back will cost us too much time. Oh, can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, we can! Perfect! <laughs> Alright, my second 100% all complete map. <laughs> Monochrome mapping project. <laughs> I guess that was the dead simple of the monochrome mapping project uh, universe. I have to say, that was kind of an, an interesting change of pace. Visually, it was, it was sort of average. It was a distinctive enough, at least, playing on a giant star. Like, gameplay-wise, it was more interesting than actually challenging. I'd say it was a good idea, though. The kind of like a light-hearted break in the action. Well, I guess for people who play this in continuous, Tesla Dose is kind of like a, a light-hearted reprieve from the, uh, the more difficult map before it and maybe what comes after it. It was interesting enough, I'd say. Not too difficult, but a nice change of pace, and I liked how it was done with the messages and the ending. It was a brief burst of fun, and that's all I can say, and very good. So, once again, Fractal XX has done a good map and I look forward to seeing his third one. So anyway, let's see what's up for next time. And completed in four and a half minutes with one death. Because I was too curious. Let's see what's up. Ooh, hello. Col Colgulation? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Wow, this looks... Ow. Okay, I guess we will stop there. <laughs> Thanks, Imp, for reminding me that I need to stop here. So then, next time, looks like we're going to be going on to, <laughs> finally, a completely different uh, WAD author. So, what did you all think of Tezzle Dose? Did you like the survival gameplay and the messages? Do you think it could have been made more harder or more interesting? And what do you think will happen next time in Colgalation? What kind of tricks will we see? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will catch you all next time for yet more monochrome, monochromatic excitement. See you later!